It's me, Scott Lang, and I'm here with... Stephen Moss. And we're here in the Library of Congress. Not really, but have you ever seen a music library this anal retentive? It is ridiculously clean in here. Like, you could do surgery in here. It's a, this isn't a band library. It's a <laughs> surgeon's table. Anyway, Stephen is just a longtime good friend of mine, uh, director of bands at, at Cameron Yo High School, and you've probably never heard of it. And that's the reason we're here. You know, I've always said that great music and great teaching occurs in small, out-of-the-way places that no one knows about. And this is one of those places. And He won't brag on himself, so I'm going to do it for him. Beyond being an incredible human being and doing leadership and drum major stuff, he is uh, the UIL Honor Band um, this past year, performed at TMEA, um, and he was last year's state marching band champion. And that's a back-to-back -back honor that's equivalent to Midwest and a Super Bowl mm -hmm. in the state of Texas. So, first of all, congratulations Thanks. and bravo. I'm, I'm super you. proud. So, um, coming here, I went through the massive town that is Cameron. I think there are six people and two hobos and, and a Dairy Queen. And that's the entire town. So, Stephen, you've taught in other places. What's it like? How do you create a culture of excellence in a community that, that doesn't have a role model for that, musically speaking? There is no, well, look at what this school does and this school. You're creating something that they don't even know how to vision. How, how do you do that? I think we do our very, very best to just make sure that the kids know that they can do everything they want to because in small schools... In small towns. Yeah, in small towns, they do everything. And, and they want to do everything. And we've got to let them know that it's okay to do everything. We've got to let them know that we support them, whether it's a kid doing ag, football, and baseball all at the same time. You know, the band is still a home for you. You don't have to... This is not just about bands. So we bend a lot to make it work for the kids. Okay, so... And bigger programs typically especially in texas there's a lot of adjunct staff there's mm -hmm. support staff there's guard mm -hmm. visual there's private lesson staff mm -hmm. i mean there's a couple of cows in the pasture across the street that's yeah. that's it i mean how do you do that how do you create that musical excellence when you're it well we are the private and you play staff. bass trombone so let's be yeah. clear <laughs> not that's a food chain kind of <laughs> down there how do you do that uh, we just work with the kids. We make the time, and, and sectionals a lot of times is based on their schedule, not ours, and then them molding to us. But we find that time, and we make the time to make it work for them. What about support? Do you, do you have any? I mean, yeah. whether it's drill, whether it's uh, a guard tech, where, where do you find those people? A lot of times uh, we, have a, we have a guard person here, and sometimes I clean the guard. Uh, we have... We have three staff here who do a wonderful job. We're very fortunate to have staff who know how to make a lot out of not a whole lot. You know, that's a really, really, that's a key, okay. making a way out of no way. Okay, great point. This, see, this is why he's great. <laughs> do you have to adjust your expectations? It, yeah. I mean, do you do you change your literature? Do you change sure. the amount of, so, mm -hmm. so what you're saying is, you know, excellence isn't the what we do, it's in the how we do it. No doubt, yeah, no doubt. I mean, I could expound on that, but, what you just said is perfect. You know, it, I'm not going to pick literature for, uh, for example, this year we want to take all the kids to the honor band concert, not a win ensemble, even though we had enough kids last year to break up the band into two. For those, I'm sorry, for those who don't know, um, an honor band in Texas, every other year you can be in a state marching band championship, and on the off year you can apply to be the Texas honor band, which puts you in the elite band in the elite state, and um, his, his band was chosen for that honor the year after they won. March I don't even know that that's been done or been done in a long time. And so, do you, are you okay with saying I may not ever conduct the latest John Mackey work or Absolutely the, the Maslanka? Because I'll say this too: it, for us, we want to get down to the stuff. I mean, and this is a big part of who we are as a program. It's not about what music we're playing. It's about what we can do with the music that we have. It's not about playing, as you said, John Mackey. I love John Mackey's pieces. But if I can't play a John Mackey piece, then it just won't happen. But if I can play American River songs by Pierre Laplante, which is a love great... Pierre Laplante. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We can play Shenandoah in the middle just as beautifully as we can play a, a, a grade five arrangement of Shenandoah. It's not about the literature. It's about how we approach that literature. And let me say this doing everything that we can along the way to not focus on just the audible error, but picking literature where we can get to the good stuff. Because on one side of the coin, you have trying right. to get rid of the audible error, right. and on the other side is the good stuff, the music. You know, and I think it makes such an important... You're, you're setting your kids up for success. Yeah. And even if it's a... a Musically. A, you know, a grade five piece or a, a grade two piece, yeah. you want it... 
you pick music that's going to allow kids to be successful. Yeah, that's why they come back. I mean, they come back for a lot of different reasons, but they can't define what that singular feeling is right. when they get that thing in rehearsal, the goosebump test, and they go, man, that was awesome. We all go, wow, that was really, really cool. Not, um, we can play this really, really hard piece, and that's what this is all about, and maybe we're not going to do as well. I think we, we make sure that we fit... You know, we choose something that fits right. the kids. Okay, so one last question, and, and this isn't your first rodeo. I mean, in, in terms of being in a small town and in a small school, um, so a director, be them young, be them experienced, just accepted a job in a small town and a small school. Yeah. Is there a piece of advice you'd give them? Is there something you'd say, you know, after 15 years of teaching in that environment, here's the one thing I think I know to be true, or the one thing I would share. What is that? You're going to have to do more things that you don't think that you should have to do. You're going to have to, the first thing is develop genuine relationships, but more importantly, let, that's in any school, but I think for a small school, you're gonna have to realize that that kid does a lot of things, and once you let them know that you care about them, and you wanna know about the other things that they're doing too, they're going to wanna to be a part of what you're doing. Not apart from it, but a part of what you're doing, and let's face it, what we do is, I think, one of the best, it's one of the best gigs out there, and I do believe that. I believe it's one of the best things out yep. there, and if I b believe in what I do, I'm going to do everything I can to genuinely recruit and retain a kid through a relationship and go to that baseball game, because I'm curious. I do want to know how my kid's doing. I want to go to that football game. I want to go to the softball game and see him and talk with them later on about that, and we're not talking band. They're right. in band, and they know me as a person. That's, well, that's what it is. Sage words of advice. So if someone wanted to get a hold of you or ask you a question, is there an email address you could throw out there? Uh, yes. This is weird that I'm sharing my email address. Well, you don't have. It, uh, M -O -S -S dot Steven, S-T-E-V-E-N, 3030 at yahoo.com. Wow, this is it, awesome. It's not, you know, it's not dangerous because there's only three people that watch my podcast. So Sweet. I think okay. all three people and my mom's one of them and my dog's the other. You can email them there. I want to thank Stephen well, thank uh, for our friendship and for all his successes for kids. Take care, everyone. Have a great day.